Hi, my name's Simon from Motodrome. Now, today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off this uh, Morris Minor Tourer is the real name for it, but obviously it's a convertible, uh, proper factory convertible, this one. Um, two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of uh, engine starting and idling action at the, uh, the start of the driving video. Sorry, it's a bit windy today and I haven't got my, uh, my windproof mount with me, I'm afraid, so uh, let's put up with it. Sorry about that. Okay, so have a look around this uh, Morris, Morris Minor 1000, so actually 1100, um, Tourer. Uh, that's a real name for it, but obviously it's a convertible. This one is a proper factory convertible. Eight registrations by the 1969 and 1970, so one of the last ones. Finished in old English white with red interior and red hood. Um, apologies, it's a bit windy here today and I haven't got my, um, my sort of windsock with me. So I'm afraid it will be a little bit noisy on the video. Um, just a nice standard spec car, obviously been restored. Nice new interior on it as well. Hood looks pretty new as well. Just really pleasant and uh, ideal for the summer. In every respect. Right, let's take a closer look around it. Um, I'm not sure when it was restored, I haven't been through the history yet, but uh, paintwork is, is pretty good. It is a little bit micro blistery, you can't really see it in daylight, but you put it underneath um, harsh fluorescent lights in our show, and you can see micro blistering on it here and there. Um, that's the seam line down there on the offside front wing, and that's the near side one. Looking down around the indicators, it's all as it should be. Down the side, it's nice and straight. Chrome is pretty good. A bit of touching in, I think, just been done just here. It's bubbling slightly there, and I think someone's just covered it up um, with a bit of. Uh, bit of a touch up but it's not particularly if you stand back you can't really see it. It's had a few touch ups here and there including along here on the on the sort of uh, sill areas. The doors themselves aren't dropping or anything. Um, door cards are nice so the interior looks to be all new probably a Newton commercial interior or relatively new. Showing 51,000 miles, how genuine it is, I don't know, so I haven't been through the history as yet. So if we think it is, rear interior is all nice. Red carpets as well, and mats in it too. Doors close nicely. Yeah, again, bit of touching up, it's just gone on down there. Around the near side rear. Boot lid sits very slightly proud at the uh, at the bottom edge. It's probably got a big thick um, seal on it. In fact, there's no seal. Yeah, the, the seal's on the boot lid. Yes, in fact, that is quite a thick one. Also comes with a big stack of of uh, spares as well, as you can see. Boot. Oh, I need to flip that up. So yeah, the, um, the boot lid does sit slightly proud of the lower edge. That's probably because of that bubble that's in there. Looking down the offside, driver's door fit could be slightly better on the bottom of it. Offside rear wing, nice. Down there, the fit could be slightly better than it is. Maybe had new skins on it. See a bit of touching in's gone on there where the bonnet has dug into the scuff a little bit. So not a perfect concourse example, but uh, um, it's just a nice little car. It really is. 
standard, apart from we've got uh, Smith's combined oil temperature and water, oh, sorry, oil pressure and water temperature gauges down there. Um, yeah, it's all. The only thing on the interior that's slightly worn is just the piping here on the driver's seat on the edge. It's got a few nicks in it, just there. Shut nicely. So I think there we have it really. Um, as I say, it's not the most contender, although it is very tidy under the bonnet. But it's just a nice, usable, um, genuine factory minor tourer.